You know, Airstream has done many collaborations over the years dating back decades, but few of those are really structural collaborations where we're changing the shape of the trailer. I would love to take this trailer to Yellowstone maybe or Kings Canyon. I would be the first customer for this product because it's garageable. I think it's an outstanding design. It is different to what Airstream did before. It is still an Airstream. That's what I love. If I were a surfer, I would probably take that trailer to San Elio in Southern California for surfing. When we first envisioned this collaboration, there were several things that we wanted to try to accomplish that we weren't sure that we could do ourselves without some outside thinking. We wanted a travel trailer that was sleek, easy to tow, lightweight, low profile, garageable. We wanted something that would tuck in behind an EV, provide the least amount of drag and resistance it could, but then also be everything that Airstream promises, this beautiful piece of industrial art, an iconic object in its own right, but with all the functionality and the fit and finish that you would expect from a brand like Airstream. Well, having the chance to work for Airstream is just fantastic. What I love about it is the fact that both companies, Airstream and Studio FA Porsche, have a lot in common. We have a long history, Airstream even longer than us, and what is even more important, that both companies have come up with iconic vehicles. Airstream, obviously, with the travel trailer, and Mr. Porsche, our founder, was the designer of the legendary, iconic 911. So I think it's a fantastic match in that sense. It's a big challenge at the same time, too. So putting your hands on something that evolved over such a long time and is actually essentially a perfect product already. That's quite a challenge to come up with an idea that even improves this. The garageability feature was critically important for this particular product because there are so many urban buyers that can't leave an Airstream in their driveway. They don't have anywhere to store it. They might not even have a driveway. So designing this travel trailer with this articulating axle that allows us to lower down very close to the ground and tuck it in under a standard garage door means it opens the market to so many more urban buyers that frankly couldn't even conceive of owning an Airstream. That was a challenge because we knew if you want to stand inside this trailer, we will not achieve uh, a height, an overall height that allows us to be, for this Airstream to be garaged. So how to resolve this? And the pop top was the answer, together with a lowering of the of the chassis. This combination uh, allows the customer of this product to actually tuck this airstream away in his garage, uh, close the door, and not having it sitting outside when he's not using it. And uh, the interior, of course, is affected by that. We have an, a section in the roof that actually goes up, which is uh, the nice thing is it goes up uh, parallel, so you have that height wherever you are in the trailer and it also gives you a, a more roomy uh, feeling inside the trailer uh, not only when you stand but also when you're sitting. We know that every bit of aerodynamic efficiency we can bake into it, any of our products reduces its carbon output and that doesn't matter whether you're towing it with an internal combustion engine or with an EV. Another thing that I think was achieved well was we tried to design the trailer so when you tow it, it has as little resistance as possible. So aerodynamic plays a role. And we knew beforehand, if we wanted to do an aerodynamically efficient rear end of this trailer, we would have to deviate from some of the form factor that Airstream typically is known for at the back end of the trailers. And, and I'm really happy that we found a solution aesthetically that works aerodynamically and it works as an Airstream trailer. One of the things that most impressed me with the clever design of this Airstream travel trailer is the way every square inch of the interior was utilized for at least two purposes, in some cases three. When you're designing in such a tight package, you have to think about how can this space be used for every part of the day. And you look at things like the bathroom that serve as a toilet and a shower and a sink. You look at the dinette that turns into a bed. You look at the rear hatch and tailgate that open up the outside, bring air in, but also give you a surface on which you can live and experience the outdoors. The kitchen is nicely integrated in the space. We have folding desks and so on to make it efficient. 
So all in all, I think it's a very transparent structure inside. It is, it is light, it is airy. The scope of the project was a perfect fit for our philosophy and the way we designed because it was supposed to be a very compact, super reduced, yet very much in the DNA of Airstream product. One of the design directions we gave when we started working on this project was that Airstreams always have lots of windows. Actually, we developed or came up with the idea to have a space frame so that you have not, you know, single windows on the side, but just one long side window that goes as deep as possible, where it touches on the inside the countertops and the cushions and the seating area. If I had to pick one feature that I really like about this travel trailer, it's that rear hatch and tailgate. That one feature takes you from this insulated cocoon where you might feel separated from nature to welcoming nature in, welcoming fresh air. It gives you a chance to really sit inside in a protected space, but connect with nature in a way you really can't any other way. You know, it was interesting to me that some of the innovations in this particular execution are things we've considered before, the, the pop-up roof, the rear hatch and tailgate. In fact, we make travel trailers today that have a rear hatch, but I've never seen them done to this level. The thoughtfulness, the execution of the design, both in its aesthetic appeal, its functionality, its use of materials and quality of materials. When you bring in a group like Porsche Design, you can only expect that they're gonna bring the best designers in the world to solve your problems, and they really, really have. One of the biggest challenges when you work with an outside design group and you ask them to redesign an American icon, it really puts them on point and on notice that they're, they're tinkering with something that's pretty sacred to us and pretty sacred to a lot of people. So we said, all right, it's gotta be aluminum, that's our signature material, but the rest of it, the shape, let's go with something, uh, let's have an interpretation of the shape moving forward, what this might look like in the future. So we were thinking rivets, yes, it is part of the look, but let's take a look into what other solutions are there and then critically take a glance at the, at the trailer and, and, and see if it still looks like an Airstream. You can look at their designs and the design of this travel trailer and see careful intent, a clear understanding of what they're trying to accomplish, a clear understanding of what the Airstream brand and its heritage really is, but also bringing in their design expertise in every element, every panel, every surface, the way the light reflects off the vehicle, every facet, the way the panels fit together. I mean, these guys are pros and they brought a level of uh, design and, and careful consideration to this travel trailer that we've not seen before. But I really just want to say one more time, kudos to the Porsche Design Group. Working with this team has really been eye-opening and enlightening for everyone here at Airstream. And the results speak for themselves.